Hey everyone, it's Becca from Worker Bee Supply, and if you've been following us for a while, you know that Eugene recently completed his journey of switching from Mac to PC for creative work. He recently shared his full desk setup with you, and today I'm gonna show you mine. So if Eugene's was focused on cool tech, mine is focused on celebrating artists I love while creating a space that's inspiring and comforting. I've spent many years following artists and supporting small businesses, so my desk is a space where I can celebrate all the beautiful artwork I've purchased from all these awesome artists that live in Toronto. Now don't worry, if something catches your eye, you don't have to rush and write it down. I'm gonna link absolutely everything I can in the description down below. So let's get started. First up, my computer. I changed my computer in 2019 from my 21.5 inch iMac to Eugene's 27 inch iMac. It's been great to have a larger screen, but we'll probably need to upgrade it pretty soon. Should I follow Eugene into the PC space or stick with Mac? Let me know in the comments below. I use my Wacom tablet whenever I'm doing detailed editing in Photoshop. And just like Eugene said, if you haven't started using one of these yet, you should definitely get on board. It takes some coordination to get going, but you'll soon learn how it effortlessly enhances your workflow. Beside my computer is lip balm, of course, and a Seagate hard drive, which acts as my time machine and regularly backs up my desktop. I also have a secondary hard drive behind my computer as an archive for past client work and raw images. I've been using a second monitor for a few years now, and it makes it so much easier to write notes or fill in a calendar while referring to the opposite screen. It's super useful for working in Lightroom as well or following an instructional video while working on a photo. So you're probably noticing these ombre stickers on my keyboard. They've obviously been well loved, but they still catch people's eye and I get a lot of compliments on them. I won these ones from an Instagram giveaway, but I found the company that makes them, so I have linked it in the description down below. I usually have some sort of to-do list or notebook on my desk, and this one is one of many I have from Montreal's Baltic Club. I love their stuff because there's a mix of quirky and humorous patterns and really cool contemporary designs as well. The ceramic bowl is by our friend Jen Collins. Jen is a Scottish artist who lived in Toronto for a couple of years, but whose work I'd actually been a fan of before she even moved here. So it was a really special experience to work with her on a worker bee print. I usually keep my keys in here or any small objects like paper clips or hair ties. Here's a cute photo of Eugene and me from our friend's wedding in 2015 in an old Ikea frame that I've had since I was like a kid. One thing I love to treat myself to are candles, and when the mood strikes, I like to burn one in the office. When I'm finished burning this one from PF Candle Co., I'm gonna clean it out and either use it as a pencil holder or bathroom storage. And finally, the same Urban Outfitters lamp that Eugene has on his desk. I always try to drink a lot of water throughout the day, so I keep a big jug on my desk so I don't forget. I really love that our office has this ledge built into the wall as it's just calling for a mini gallery. I personally love color, so being surrounded by vibrant work from artists I admire is really important to me. First up is a fashion-inspired print by Raz Latif. I really love the vibrant colors, distinct pencil markings, and unique shape of the dress. Above that, I have another smaller print by Toronto artist and musician Lido Pimienta. I love the light tones in this print and the plants that decorate the figure. Lido's latest album, Miss Columbia, is absolutely fantastic and you should definitely give it a listen. Next up is a mini vase from Akai Ceramic Studio. They make really beautiful contemporary ceramics, but I really love this one because it looks like a vintage piece from the 1970s. A few of the smaller items are a fox sticker from artist Shanna Van Morick, a pin from a small business conference I photographed, and a laser cut fidget toy from Weekender Supply. Next is a colorful postcard greeting me by our friend Sam Dubow, and of course, my Lego Mickey from the Steamboat Willie short. Finally, I have a whiteboard that was originally supposed to be for notes and to-do lists, but naturally just serves as a space for more cards. There's a ticket from a concert I was supposed to go to earlier this year, a postcard from Detroit print shop, Signal Return, and finally, some words of wisdom from the Toronto-based publisher, Without Pretend. So that's it. What did you think? Was there a piece of art or an object that you really loved? Let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna change my computer up soon, like I mentioned, so we'll have a video coming out about that at some point. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that, as well as all of the creative goodness we have coming to you each and every week. Please give this video a thumbs up so I can feel warm and fuzzy inside, and thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.